Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. So the last segment we threw in our trust members as part of our trust system. And now you just want to double check that they are in fact trusses. So we remember have our member definition tool highlighted. And then now we can right click on one of the members and go to properties. And it looks like the member type is actually trust, trust, trust. So that's good. All good. So now click OK. And now we want to start defining some sections and our materials. All right. So the sections, you want to highlight it, left click on it, then right click on it. And then this menu comes up. I've already defined a section called trust. Uh, we don't need a moment of inertia. We don't need a shear area because in a truss, we don't count for shear area. Shear area is for the beams because from your structural analysis courses, we understand that the shear area, it takes into account for the last, you know, five to seven or five to 10% of the overall deflection. But because trusses are used ma mainly for brace frames, we actually don't account for any shear area. We could, but it's not really necessary for uh, the simplicity of these examples. So we just want to look at the gross area. All right, so back at our original example, we had an area of 50 times 10 to the minus four meters squared. So remember, check your units, make sure you're in meters squared as I am here. Um, so I've got exponential format highlighted, right? And if we unhighlight it, we can get a decimal format. So I prefer exponential format where we can just literally type in 5e. Okay, I'm clicking lowercase e right now. It doesn't come up. We have to be in uppercase e. So remember, you have to shift e negative four. And there you go. Okay, so now we've defined our section property with our gross area. And for this case, all we need to worry about is the gross area. We don't need to concern ourselves with moment of inertia or shear area. Those are more um, to do with beams and the beam analysis. So update and click close. And now it says S1, S1, S1. So that's saying that we are at section one, right? And our section one is our truss and that makes sense. And that's what we selected as. So that is all good. So save your file. I'm a Nazi with saving. I, I save after I do any change. You don't really have to. You just need to make sure you save before you run your analysis, but uh, it's just a habit of mine. So in the next video, we're gonna look at defining our material properties.